Hello, welcome to Gemstone Tarot. Sometimes this is the first time of the day that I test my voice properly. Do you ever get that when you haven't really spoken and then you go on the telephone, you're like, <laughs> whose voice is that? <clears throat> okay, there is one, so that's good. Uh, it's the 1st of September and the moon moves from Gemini into Cancer. Uh, did it say what time? It says 6.26 actually. I think this is UK, so it's already going on. Yippee. Hey, it's moving into Cancer. And that's okay with me. <laughs> that's how I feel when the moon's in Cancer. Like, just want to cuddle. Just want some chocolate. Um, this is the day that we do the Armanac. Ka-ching! Because it's the first of a month. And this is where we do the <laughs> super complicated, just pop out into the garden. There's my garden. Pop out into the garden and use a couple of sticks and a bit of a blue pizza plastic cup or whatever it is. No, no, use a biodegradable cup and you can navigate to Mars or whatever it is. Navigating by the sun, stars and moon. Use sun and moon rises and sets. I always show you the diagram and I'm sure I don't know if that's back to front, that that makes it a whole lot easier for you. This is barely a method. More a little basic solar and lunar knowledge that might help you get your bearing. Particularly if you manage to see the sun or moon rising or setting. First know that the sun and moon follow roughly the same path across the sky. I didn't know that. They rise in the east, they track across the southern sky and they set in the west. I sort of knew that. The exact point at which they rise and set changes throughout the year. By 40 degrees, it is only at the equinoxes in March and September that they rise and set due east and due west. And by midsummer, the sun rises at almost northeast and at midwinter at almost southeast. So I don't know what we were supposed to do with that knowledge, but maybe we just stand in the garden or look out of the window and know what's happening above us, if it even is above us. Okay. <laughs> Movie tarot today. What do we need to know? It's a nice deck, this Movie Tarot deck. It's got good card stock. Do you love a good card stock? don't always recognize all the characters but I love the fact that you can tell me who they are so like that one I have no idea I know that one Ooh, ooh, cripes we got three tens Ooh, at the bottom of it like ooh, at the bottom of the deck the seven of wands Mars in Leo, fight the good fight. I will defend my position. There's been a bit of a <coughs> competitive vibe for the whole week, hasn't there, between us and someone else or us and an organisation. <coughs> One moment. I'm still the queen of allergies. Between us and an organisation or us in some kind of very slight power tussle, it feels like. When you get three tens, know that you're coming closer to completion, but at the same time, it's quite, um, you're going to feel quite fighty. You're going to feel quite seven of wands. Do you remember seven of wands in the Rider Waite has kind of got someone with a big wand and then other people are going at them and they're kind of like defending themselves. Um, oh, there's one, isn't there, where it's a man with a massive kilt. I think that's the Robin Wood tarot. There's a seven of wands that's got a massive kilt like this that's the energy you feel it's mars in leo you know planet of war meets the lion you feel like the lioness defending the cubs yeah okay just try not to let it out too much if you can help it unless like i said yesterday i think if you're a fire sign maybe you can and you can channel that stuff better than like us water signs and earth signs air signs are normally good at channeling anger because it comes out in a good form of communication Water signs, you know that we're always on the verge of chucking a blub when we get angry, and that can ruin the whole effect. <sighs> Earth signs, let me know what you do with anger. 
I'd like to know. In fact, all of you, let me know your sign if you want to and just how you express anger. I'd be interested to know that. Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups. Why did I think there were three? There are two tens. Take it all back. We always get two tens on this channel. I think I thought that that... I can see why, actually. It's the Eight of Coins. Okay, that makes even more sense. Right, two tens. I like this. It's emotional completion, but it's not very nice and warm and fuzzy. It's not very easy, okay? When you get the Ten of Swords, there is always a form of catharsis. You are always shedding a skin. You are always confronting a demon or, or just a situation and saying, okay, you know, um, not necessarily let's call it quits, just stop fighting against the truth. It's like, okay, okay, okay. I'll put my big stick away and I'll just accept that this is what happened. It's emotional, Ten of Cups, but it's nice. You know, it's in the upright, it's the Ten of Cups, it's Mars in Pisces. So we move from Mars in Leo, which is quite combative, to Mars in Pisces, which is quite, oh, love is all around us. Good, okay, we'll go with that for now. At the bottom of the deck, what I thought was the Ten of Pentacles is the Ten of, is, oh my God, okay. Obviously the Ten of Pentacles is involved here. So it's not on the table, but sometimes we look at cards that aren't on the table. Ten of Pentacles is to do with your family, your security, your front door key, your, um, your abode, your place of work, how you earn your money. And that's at stake here, your security of some kind. It could be emotional security as well with the Ten of Cups. Eight of Coins is Vir Sun in Virgo. It's often to do with how you earn your money. It's been coming up quite worky for all of you the whole of this week, but with a little side ordering of love. You know, we had the Soulmate card a few days ago. Um, we got the Ten of Cups today. So for some of you, there is an emotional component to this. We are still Six of Swords in reverse, which means that although you may feel desirous of escape, yeah, in a real, hmm, I feel desirous of escape, um, the exit door isn't really clear yet, you know, because you know with the Six of Swords, oh, and by the way, someone asked if they could see this t-shirt, so this is Lego Saurus, yes, dinosaurs and Lego mixed together, what better? Um, it's like in the Six of Swords in the Rider Waite when you've got somebody with a boat and somebody ferrying them across the water away from the choppy water to the calmer side. When the Six of Swords is in reverse, there is no boat. It's like you're not getting out just yet because there's no boat, but there will be, but there isn't yet. Okay, itchy eye, one second. Knight of Wands, and does anybody know who that is? I have absolutely no idea what the film is. It must be science fiction, because I can't watch science fiction. So that's usually what it is. Anyway, Knight of Wands is about wanting to go, yes, come on, you know, it's like, yay. That energy's there whether we like it or not but we do need to channel it as much as we can because I still don't think that the time is right yet. Page of coins, but it's in reverse, okay? It's in reverse. Is that Dev Patel? I may get one here. Um, it's in reverse. When the page of coins is in reverse, that whole thing about being patient and the seasons of change is like, what seasons, you know, let's just do it now. No, there is a season of change here. I know we're into the 1st of September, we're looking at the equinox in, in the Northern Hemisphere, I think it is. And that's a season of change, literally. We're moving into autumn in the UK, but this is like an emotional financial season of change, a security season of change. Nine of coins. We are building our own nest. We are banking our own resources. Okay. The cards I have yet still to identify. <laughs> Doreen Virtue's Angel Advice cards is what I'm calling them. 
You are a powerful light worker. It's safe for you to be powerful. Your spiritual power brings great blessings and loving service to the divine. May not be perceived that way by your co-workers. You'd be like, look, look here by the coffee machine. I will have you know that I am a powerful light worker bringing great blessings in loving service to the divine. And they'll be like, did you steal my coffee, mate? Exactly. That's neither here nor there because I am a powerful light worker. <laughs> balance. There needs to be a balance. A balance between the ten of whoopass here and knowing that the timing isn't quite right yet to resolve this. Okay, but it is being resolved. It's just seasonal. Leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonates. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.